welcome back in this video we will see how to use images in excel reports before we do that let's make sure you have the correct version of excel you need to go to file tab and go to account in that your version of excel should be either office 365 pro plus or office 2013 professional plus the next step is to check whether power pivot and power view is activated or enabled in your excel so that is done by going to file and options under that add-ins under add-ins we have various types of add-ins we need to go to com add-ins and click on go you may see different list here but make sure power pivot and power view is enabled now we are ready to work on the data the purpose is to get this data and represent it in a power view dashboard along with images i have four columns product amount type and country amount is the only numeric column and others product type and country have their so to say master files so first column is the name and the second column is a link to the correct image or relevant image for word excel powerpoint i have logos for laptop and mobile i have simple icons and for countries i have images of their map or their flags so these are stored in a web location in this case my blog you should choose a location which is accessible not only to you but people who are going to be viewing the report as well it could be a local file share it could be local drive it could be a web based location in either case make sure everyone has access to it now let's start with the process this data needs to be imported into power pivot before we can start using these images this is a demo file that's why i am taking the same excel sheet and adding these tables to the data model one by one in real life situation the transactional data would be in a separate file and masters would be in a separate file the recommended method is to create an empty excel file and import all the pieces into data model now before we import anything in data model from a table it's a good idea to give that table a name so you go to table tools and give names which are more readable rather than table 1 table 2 like that i have already done that and click inside the table now go to power pivot and say add to data model when this happens it opens the power pivot window and adds these to data model i have already done that to save time this link icon does not mean these tables are linked to each other it means this table this particular table in power pivot is linked to equivalent table in the excel sheet now <clears throat> because this is a transactional file and there are three files which are related we need to establish the relationship first amongst them that is better done using what is called as a diagram view so i'm going to go to diagram view which shows me all the tables so i'm going to have this as the central table which is transactional and other tables are going to be related to it so i'm just visually arranging them for convenience purpose now remember if this is the table this is for one product in product master there will be multiple products in transaction table so this is a one to many relationship so when you are defining the relationship it starts from the many side which is the name of the product and that i am going to choose and drag and drop on the product name now exactly the same thing i am doing with type and type name and country and country name this is how you establish the relationships now there is one more step remaining these are the products which has product name and the link now this particular column as of now is going to be interpreted by excel as text we need to inform excel don't look at it as text go to that link interpret it find the page find the image itself and then render it and that is done by changing the way individual column behaves and that is called data category which comes under advanced tab of advanced tab of power pivot if you don't see the advanced tab you have to first go to file menu 
and choose switch to advanced mode in that click on the field which has the link go to data category and make sure it is image URL this has been automatically detected so the bracket shows suggested otherwise it will show custom if you go to a field which it doesn't understand then it will be called uncategorized in which case you open this go to all categories make sure choose image and then choose image URL there is another type available called image where the actual content itself is the image it is not a pointer to the image this is better if you want to keep your report self content and not depend on an external location but in this case it is image URL so we'll leave it at that having done this for all of them this is also US image URL and country is also image URL now we are ready to use this data model so I'm going to close the data model and now I'm going to click insert menu and then choose power view now notice my current cursor is in the transaction table so when power view is created it actually adds that particular thing now what is power view power view requires you to have silver light loaded so if it is not there it is going to remind you to install it before power view can start working remember that so you can see that all the tables and their columns are shown now now I'm going to drag and drop country which actually is a URL now I'm going to drag and drop amount now notice if I drag and drop anything here I'm also going to drag and drop product in between the two I can do it here as well notice what it's doing I have three kinds of products in a country so the country repeated and so on I don't want that I want it like a pivot table so I go to this thing called table which comes under design and I say make it into a matrix matrix is like pivot table so now it becomes like this and what I get here is different kind of areas I get values row area column area like a pivot table which is good so now I'm going to move this product from row area to column area and see what happens here now in order to make it easier to understand I'm going to go to power view and increase the text size to 175 so now we got a nice looking image based report here now I'm going to add type and type can be added either to rows and columns this time I'm going to row, put it to columns so notice everything gets refreshed and for each each of the country we have product followed by the type on which it is installed but this is getting jumbled up so what do I do now I go to the design part and say only show me row level totals so now it removed the column level totals and I get a cleaner looking report now there is one more way in which the images can be used right now this is the overall report and I have mobile and laptop as two options now I'm going to take this type and put it in tile by and notice what happens I get this more like a filter so this changed now it is showing me filtered data only for this particular thing right now it is showing me for laptop and when I click on mobile it is going to filter it on mobile now if you publish this report to SharePoint this interactivity will be maintained you also have to make sure that at SharePoint level these URLs are accessible in terms of permissions otherwise the images may not be shown so that's how you use pictures in reports using power view in Excel 2013 thank you